So this is my suburban habitat, my suburbitat, and I'm going to survive here. Humid heat. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, my rain barrel setup or what the setup is going to be. When I first started researching uh, rainwater harvesting and watching a lot of videos on guys getting barrels and and uh, hooking them up to their to their uh, rain gutters. Uh, but that, hey, that's a pretty cool idea. I'm going to do that myself. And uh, so I started uh, figuring out where I could, trying to figure out where I could get some barrels around here where I'm at. And the first thing that I was checking into were these uh, these uh, <clears throat> barrels with the with the bung holes in them. And uh, it seemed to be kind of the popular barrel that everybody was getting. Uh, so I started looking around for them and found the only ones I could find were uh, you know too far away to go get them or I could drive 20 30 miles and pick them up and then they would tell me well they 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 held um, uh, you know like a car wash soap in them or something like that and or some of them they didn't really know what was in them so to me it, it was going to become kind of a problem or or a lot of work to try to figure out how to clean those out before I used them especially when you know the biggest hole in it was you know two and three quarter inch or whatever diameter hole in, in the where the bung holes were at then I saw these uh, someone showing one of these um, food grade barrels that come over from Greece with the olives and chilies and stuff like that and chili peppers and, then I was trying to figure out where I could find those. Well, one day I had went down to the farmer's co-op where I pick up uh, mostly my vermiculite, and I just happened to look off in a little gated area there where they have, you know, some of the oh, like horse troughs and fencing and stuff like that. And there was a just the whole corner full of these uh, food grade barrels from Greece. So. I asked the guy how much they were, and he said $17.99 a piece. And uh, you gotta realize I've been researching these ones with the bung holes, you know, some of the lowest ones I could find was $5. So I wasn't so sure if $17.99 was, was a good price or not. And then I got to thinking, well, I'm not gonna find them probably anywhere else, and it looks like they've got quite a, quite a storage of them. And the thing I liked about them was there was no pre-made holes in them other than a lid and a real heavy-duty uh, screw-on lid, and they and it's two parts with a with a gasket in them. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> that's one thing when you're looking for them, you got to make sure the gasket's still there. Cause sometimes they they get lost and after they've been dumped and then sold to the, whoever's buying them. But anyways, with that idea, I could. I could decide where to put the holes, where to put the pipes. So, uh, went ahead and bought one, which you've probably seen in some footage that's sitting there in the corner of the wall. And with this video is just footage I took whenever I bought the second one. And uh, I haven't done anything to that one yet other than clean it out. But the plan is to uh, actually make these kind of modular where I'll have uh, all the all the piping coming from underneath and there'll be valves there you can turn it on and off and they'll, and they'll actually hook to each other and I can take them in and out too you know they'll be have couplers where you can unhook them and the, the thought is you know like four four hooked together and, and usually your downspouts come down at the corner of the house so one corner uh, you know, you have four sitting there, and then you go around a corner, and you have four more sitting there, and I can do this. I think about three corners of the house, and keeping it inside the fence, where it's not going to be 
seen by everybody all the time driving by. So that's my plan and uh, one of the main things for finding all the fittings and stuff was I've spent hours in Lowe's and Home Depot and just I didn't realize that some of the stuff was uh, specialty um, like farm tank items that uh, you know Lowe's and Home Depot don't carry and so I finally found some of the fittings at uh, like tractor supply and so this video here is just letting you know that I've got this plan here's here's the barrels that I'm using and as soon as I uh, get enough pieces of mast uh, we'll start putting all this together uh, I've, the first one that I actually have in use I put a, a, a heater tank a relief valve kind of thing it looks like a regular faucet but it, you just turn it about half half crank and it opens it wide open and I prefer those much better over the old uh, like water faucet where you keep turning keep turning keep turning but I stuck one of those right in the side because uh, my first one of the first issues I had was trying to figure out how to be able to get down far enough to um, put together all the fittings and stuff because you got to get inside the barrel really I think I figured out how to do that especially seeing once I got the right fittings that I'm gonna put in the bottom I realized you can get it in there and get it started it it, it threads backwards so it, you, you can tighten it up inside so this is it it's a uh, uh, the second one I haven't put any holes in or anything yet because it's waiting until I get some more stuff now you know I was talking about four on each corner right but there's one corner that I'm only going to probably be able to get two because the the gate is so close there. Um, that's probably the first first uh, grouping I'll put up. So, anyways, something for you to look forward to when it happens. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter. If you look hard enough, you might find me on Facebook. Thank you very much, and please subscribe.